What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a little bit of an interesting video, I think. Um, there's two things that I want to do today. One, I got to explain to you guys about my um, methanol injection on the car. Um, it's just, how do I explain it? Um, it's not working properly right now, so I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can on why it's not walking, working pro properly and why it's not running right. Um, however, we got the part uh, ordered already and actually should be here tomorrow. So this video might be a two-part thing to diagnose it today or trying to explain to you guys what's going on. And then I'll go ahead and actually install it in the, you know, 30-second clip or whatever it is. It's not a very hard um, part to install. Um, we also actually got a bigger meth tank. I, I haven't talked to you guys about anything about the meth kit at all. But basically, um, the reason that the car is running a lot uh, more power and all that stuff is because I put a meth kit on there. And um, right now it's running like a... 1.9 quart or something like that tank but anyways we got upgraded 2.5 gallon tank so it's basically like way bigger um it's gonna so i i got a solenoid because the solenoid i think broke and more, like went out i don't know i'm guessing the boost was too much or something just shot the puncher and with the defectors i don't know whatever it was something that i do want to talk about now um and i kind of got like annoyed lately i guess you would say with our car scene and you know i've been watching a bunch of youtubers for example i'm actually a big drew peacock fan if you guys watch drew peacock you guys know he preaches this every time and he actually probably just dropped a video i think like today about it um or today that i'm filming this about it and it, it kind of like got to me because la yesterday me and my buddy went out me and keegan went out he has a wrx that's a sears gray you guys probably seen on the on the channel and Dude, okay, there's like, in Sacramento, there's like three, uh, like, decently big meets, I guess, like car meet, like night meets at least, and I'm just disappointed, honestly, in most of them. The only one that I'm like, actually decently like, I like, like going to is um, our buddy, uh, I'm not gonna name names, I think it's gonna be kinda dumb. Our buddy, he, uh, he does it in Davis, he does it at midnight, that's perfect, no one's out, no one's doing anything, all businesses are closed, um, the, the freeways are empty and basically he does a cruise from Davis to like Sac every like other weekend or every you know whatever and it's at midnight and you know so there's not there's like nobody cares no like, it's, all, it's out in like the um, the hay town so if you guys see, like you know understand Sacramento geographic it's like out in the middle of nowhere the highway is like a four lane highway anyways that's probably the best thing here you know that's like the best thing um, sometimes he has like a meet and then he goes on for the cruise and that's awesome I love that like the Kudos to you. However, he's not the biggest meat um, person in the area, so you know it's. I'm, I guess he has his pros and cons. Anyways, moving on to other people. There's two other people in here, and actually one of them are, is a really close friend of mine um, that runs um, meats here, and it's just like. Uh, I don't know man it's just like every time we go out I don't even like going out to meets anymore because one it's not even about cars no more like it's literally just about like what VQ is gonna start throwing flames um, and causing a scene what random scat pack is gonna want to burn out and I mean I like all those cars those cars are awesome I want to VQ myself I want a scat pack those, those cars are pretty cool you know but the fact that like the people driving them just like instead of just being out walking around talking about cars looking at cars it's like nah i'm gonna go and do donuts and fuck it up for everybody you know like come on man like you're just making a bad scene for it. like that's what that's the reason why cops are out at car meets 10 minutes after the meet has started i remember when i first got into cars we used to go out and there would be no cops for like an hour and a half and even when the cops came they were like oh okay it's chilling they just drive by they drive next uh, in, in the lanes and all that stuff and they're just chilling because guess what no one's doing anything stupid or if there was something stupid it'd be like revving here and there but you know now it's like every car meet is slapped out cars not even bills it's just like I'm, like, like dude i don't care if i don't like the build but at least have a build like right now it's just a clapped out like stock car you know, and then uh, I was watching Drew Peacock. He made a good, he made a good um, um, point is that, dude, the car scene back then was about cars for one, and two, after the car meet, usually you get onto like a little convoy and you guys go and have fun on the highway. I am a speed demon or whatever you want to call it. I like going fast. I like doing that stuff. That's my thing. I'm not like show car guy. I like show car stuff. Sure, I understand them, um, but again, I personally like to do all the fun racing and all that stuff. So. Now it's not even about that. It's just about going through the meet, causing as much heck or causing as much mayhem as you can, doing stupid things, doing burnout, doing just basically clout chasing, attention grabbing. That's all it is, and it's just like 
it's, there's no there's not really any point. Like you lose like a bunch of people that are actually car people, like starting to lose passion for the cars. Building the car for myself, but like the part of the fun of building the car for myself is sharing with everybody else too, having the passion with everybody. But the thing is, no one wants to even do that anymore. No one wants to look at cool cars anymore. They just want to legit get a shit box and throw flames out of it. But I think honestly, if the freaking uh, car meet people at least tried, like you know, these people that run these pages with like 20k in Sacramento, they have a lot of say in this stuff. But you know, reposting videos of people doing burnouts and donuts and th throwing flames, like that's not gonna help. That doesn't help at all. It actually, makes psychologically people encouraged to do that stuff. And like, you know, again, one of them is my be like one of a good friend of mine, but he has different views. And but you know, again. It's all in their power, but like the thing is, they don't see that it's ruining the car scene and the car culture and how people think of the car uh, culture and stuff like that. So that's all I gotta say again about that. Uh, let's go and check out this film and I'll try to explain it to you guys what's going on with that. Dude, I just washed the car. I haven't washed the car for like two months or something like that, and then I washed it because my buddy wanted to go wash it, and it's dirty again. <sighs> this is why I don't wash the car. Anyways, all right, super dirty. Sorry, I've been really working like a bunch of stuff out in here. There's oh my god, there's stuff everywhere. Okay, um. Whatever. So, you guys see that tank over there? Um, that tank runs line to the pump. Pump runs all the way to the front underneath this pillar. Into here, underneath a grommet, and it'll come out. Let me go look at it. Yeah, it just comes out from under there. Runs here. It's just this little solenoid that I have just hooked up for the time being. I don't really care about it. And then it runs into this uh, nozzle right here. Okay? This is the thing that we think uh, has failed and has stopped working. Um, I actually had this located um, in the back right by the here right right after the pump uh, Where this like little swirly thing is I actually had it there. That's why there's like an extra uh, line there now Then I decided to move it back to between the pump and the tank because I heard that that's where it's supposed to be however um, That still didn't work didn't help anything. So then I thought okay. Well, let's run it up here because then from the um, Solenoid here to the line in the nozzle. It's gonna be a short line it should be actually helping a lot more and more um what do you call it? Responsive, I guess that's the word. Yeah, responsive of the um, the meth. So again, when this car is turned on, because it's going into the throttle body pipe or throttle, sorry, throttle body spacer right here. You guys can see the black thing. I don't know if you guys see that, but it's going into there because it's post throttle body. This is throttle body because it's post here. It is actually going to be siphoning it uh, through vacuum. So this solenoid is supposed to stop it from siphoning when it's at idle. When it siphons the meth at idle, it runs and chops and sounds like it's cammed when it's basically not running right. That's basically the problem. And so then, uh, where, where was I? Oh, so I did a bunch of testing on it. Um, the reason you need the solenoid again, by the way, is because the pump is in the back in the tank. If you have the tank and the pump in the front, it shouldn't matter too much. Um, but again, this is in the back. So, uh, is it getting pulled? Okay, never mind. Okay. So I ran a bunch of tests. Um, what happens is, you know, from the tank to the lines right here, the tank to the lines uh, that goes into the pump, of course the water drips, there's no like thing that stops it. The pump takes it. What the pump is supposed to do is just pump the meth out uh, into the other line, the outline, and into the me uh, meth nozzle. The pump itself actually will drip. It doesn't, it, there's no like, um, uh, I guess, pressure thing for it. So it's supposed to do that. That's why you need the solenoid. When you put the solenoid in, the solenoid is supposed to stop the meth from going through, no matter the vacuum but apparently my solenoid just doesn't work properly. So that's what we're thinking is the problem. And all you have to do is just sw swap it out and hopefully it's good. That tank again, like I said earlier, um, we're gonna be swapping that out for a bigger tank. That tank is like a 1.9 quart or something like that. We're getting a tank that's like, I think double that, which is really nice. I'll be able to uh, run uh, more meth inside it and actually I'll have to fill it up very often. So there's that, um, what else? So basically, again, like I said, uh, tomorrow we should get the part in. Um, it should be a one-day shipping um, from the shop. So we should be able to just plug it in and hopefully it's still worked and that was a problem. Um, like again, did a lot of testing to see if that was a problem. It seemed like it was. I don't know. Maybe some dirt guy in it or something like that. I don't know. But it, it definitely wasn't supposed to do that and wasn't doing it before and now it's doing it now. So with that being said, um, that'll be fixed. And yeah, that's basically it for today. Okay.